I was born in China, um, and then we immigrated to the United States uh, while my dad finished his uh, PhD there. Then we uh, moved here to Ottawa uh, for my time here. I've been in grade 1 to grade 12 um, in the Ottawa Carleton uh, region. And uh, last year I graduated from Bell High School and now I'm at Yale University. I haven't officially declared my major yet, um, but I plan uh, to declare a, a molecular, cellular, and developmental biology major. I guess there are four main uh, reasons I chose to study in the U.S. The first being the whole liberal arts education uh, offered at many of their uh, private, uh, smaller uh, colleges. Um, I feel like the liberal arts education uh, gives people a chance to explore their interests. Uh, since we don't have to declare our major until the end of second year, we have two full years to explore what we want to learn. Um, and the distributional requirements uh, give us a chance to uh, take courses uh, in the humanities if we're science majors or the sciences if we're humanities majors. And um, another great thing about this um, is the uh, smaller class sizes. Uh, for example, last semester I had three out of my four classes were only 15 people each, uh, something that's uncommon here in Canada. And just the opportunities with so many professors uh, for research opportunities, um, more just professor to student uh, relationships, um, to be able to talk to them and to be able to work with them. Um, it also, it's also great for uh, clubs, um, the funding we get uh, for the various activities we can do. Another reason was the whole community aspect, uh, and the networks that I feel I would be able to um, make uh, in the U.S. at these, uh, specifically at Yale. Um, unlike Canadian universities, uh, where undergraduates move out of dorms uh, after first year, uh, we have the opportunity to live on res residence uh, for all four years, and especially at Yale, we're sorted into uh, residential colleges. Uh, so people that we live with for all four years of our time there, uh, the community um, is really an important part of uh, the whole college experience. And I guess the last reason um, that I chose uh, to go to states is a financial reason. Um, normally, states, um, universities cost quite a bit, but with the new policies of, of financial need um, being need-based and need-blind for even international students, it's very affordable. and not much different from uh, financing and education in Canada. Yale is a need-based, uh, need-blind school. So what that means is when they're uh, evaluating your application, they do not take into consideration how much financial support you would need to attend. Uh, so you're evaluated like every other student. And then once, if you're accepted, they will uh, provide you financial aid based on your personal and your family uh, income um, and assets um, because uh, Yale and many of the other Ivy schools and private colleges believe that if you have the ability to get into the college, you should not be able to attend to the finances. So they, they're very generous with their financial assistance. Well, the biggest advice I can give is just to start planning early if you want to uh, attend an American university. Uh, the application is a lot more tedious and requires many uh, parts, which you can complete early on before uh, like your grade 12 year. Um, so getting your um, SATs uh, written as soon as possible, uh, just uh, knowing and setting a timeline for yourself on uh, getting applications done. The admission process is a lot more complicated, uh, to be certain, um, in Canada for Ontario universities. If you live in Ontario, you basically went online and clicked a button and you were pretty much uh, applied to most of the universities. Uh, on the other hand, for the states, uh, there are a lot more requirements, uh, especially uh, standardized testing. The SATs 1 and 2, uh, or the ACT, uh, were required, as well as a common application uh, for all the um, universities and, and colleges in the States. Although I wasn't like some international students who face a lot of culture shock in the States, um, there were differences. Uh, for example, uh, once I uh, mentioned that it was going to be 13 degrees the next day and everyone started freaking out, uh, because they thought I was talking about Fahrenheit, but I was talking about Celsius. So small differences like that, um, spelling differences, but um, the culture in America is definitely welcoming, especially at uh, uh, Yale. There's many international students, uh, and I've gotten to meet people from all across the world.